Most people think that speech to text is just convert audio into words. But if you are building a real voice agent, that's not the only step. That's only step one. The real challenge is getting the important details. For example, if you've implemented a voice agent in your application and I'm a user speaking to it with my Canadian French accent and the model hears Austin instead of Boston, or misreads an email or phone number, your CRM will fail, automations fire incorrectly, or the agent might just book a wrong appointment. This is why entity accuracy matters far more than a pretty word error rate benchmark. Word error rate doesn't care which words are wrong. They are all equal, but not to your system. Another underestimated challenge is latency. In real conversations, people don't wait a full second for you to reply. Modern speech-to-text engines solve this by sending partial transcripts in the first few milliseconds. These early guesses don't need to be perfect. They are fast enough for your LLM to start thinking before the user even finishes speaking. This kind of engineering around models is what creates natural turn-taking. This is what humans do as well. You start thinking as the other person is still speaking. And then there's multilingual reality. Users mix languages mid-sentence all the time especially here in Montreal. Good speech-to-text models need a strong language identification and the ability to switch on the fly without collapsing accuracy. This is where Gladia stands out as a real example of how to do it right. They stress test their speech-to-text on noisy, accent-heavy datasets, include built-in named entity recognition for emails, names, and numbers, and support real-time code switching across more than 100 languages. And their partials arrive in roughly 100 milliseconds, which is exactly the kind of responsiveness you need for natural voice interactions without hacking together your system infrastructure. So when people ask me what's the best speech-to-text model out there, the real question is, does it help your agent understand humans the way humans actually speak in real time? And if you don't want to reinvent the wheel, use something that already gets it right, like Gladia.